Hello everyone. Today we are going to see week 6 digital circuits. This is Benilla. In the JQ flip-flop toggle means, so toggle means 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0. And when it happens, when J and K is equal to 1. So change the output to the opposite state. The output SR flip-flop when N, S equal to 1, R equal to 0 is. So SR is nothing but set reset. So S is 1 now. So it's going to be set. So when R is equal to 1 means it's said to be reset. The circuit which changes from serial data to parallel data. So serial data is if I'm going to have 4 bits. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 by 1 I'll give in a parallel way. Serial in, parallel out. So 1 to many. So we'll be saying it is a demultiplexer. The toggle condition in the master JK master slave flip flop occurs when so, J equal to 1, K equal to 1. Just now we saw. The waveform indicates the operation off. So, this is a waveform. So, here what happens? The clock, we are going to take the, um, they have given the four options as positive edge. So, we can see the positive edge. So, this is going to be the positive edge, 0 to 1. So, the input is going to be 0. So, your output is also 0. And in this positive edge, so your input is 1. So, output is 1. In this uh, 0, that is your... Uh, positive that is here so in this 0 to 1 so your output is going to be input is going to be 0 output is also 0 and here this is going to be another positive edge your input is 1 output is 1 this is going to be a positive edge so this is going to be your output is 0 your if input is 0 your output is also 0 here this is going to be the next positive edge so your input is 0, output is 0 and here this is going to be the next positive edge. Your input is going to be 1, output is 1. So it, it reacts for every positive edge and then whatever your input is, it depends upon, the, your output depends upon your input. So we will be saying it's the pos positive edge trigger D flip flop. The flip flop converted from JK flip flop is so here this is going to be when you are giving the calculation this value becomes x y bar and this is going to be x bar y. So the inverse of it. So we will say it is a d flip flop when x is equal to d and y is equal to d bar. Which of the following is correct for a d type flip flop. So the q output is set when d input is high and then reset when your d input goes low. Because in the um, two table here the d and then your present state, this is going to be the next state. So here, when your input is going to be 0, if your present state is 0 or 1, irrespective of it, your output, your next state will be 0. So whenever your input, whenever your D input is low, your output Q will be your reset. When your input is equal to 1, so whatever your present state may be, your next state is going to be 1. So the Q output will be set or reset when your D input goes from high or low. So the three uh, T flip flops are connected to form a counter, the maximum possible state. So three uh, T flip flop, one uh, each, each and every flip flop we have one bit. So three flip flop means three bits. So two power three is going to be eight states. The expression for x out of uh, output of the following uh, PLA circuit is, this is a PLA circuit. So PLA circuit is first it will be constructed with your AND gate, then it's going to be your OR gate. So they are asking you to find the expression for your x. So here the AND gate here, what is the value? This is going to be the original, this is going to be the uh, inverse of it, right? So this is going to be your A bar, B bar, C. So this is nothing but the output is going to be A bar, B bar, C. And this is going to be your A bar, B, C bar. So A bar, B, C bar. And this is going to be your A, B bar, C bar. So A, B bar, C bar. And this is going to be your A, B, C. So this is going to be your A, B, C. So your X is going to be the sum of all these four terms. So A bar, B bar, C plus A bar, B, C bar plus A, B bar, C bar plus A, B, C. Suppose if they ask you to find your y value, then how to find this y value? So this value is getting nothing but a bar b c. So this is going to be a bar b c. 
and this is going to be the next one a bar b sorry a b bar c so this is going to be a b bar c and this is going to be a b c bar so a b c bar and this is going to be a b c so your y is equal to a bar b c plus a b bar c plus a b c bar plus a b c in the jk flip flop when j is equal to 0 k equal to 1 your next value is going to be 0 when j equal to 1 k equal to 0 your next output will be 1 the output of sr flip flop when s equal to 0 r equal to r equal to 0 no so when s is equal to 0 r is equal to uh, 0 0 means it's going to be no change when s equal to 1 r equal to 0 no set when s equal to 0 r equal to 1 no it's going to be reset this is going to be the undeterminant. So, no change. D flip flop can be made from your JK flip flop by making this J equal to D and K equal to D bar. In the circuit shown, the current timing diagram. So, here uh, X1 and X2. So, this is going to be the 2D flip flop and this is going to be the clock. So, the output is given by the performed by the logical and of your both flip flop. So, here they have given this x1 and x2. So, we can take this as a both edge. Positive as well as negative edge we can see. So, positive edge is going to be. So, this is going to be 0, 0. So, output is 0. For negative edge, it's going to be 0, 0. Output is 0. So, positive edge 0, 1. So, output is 0 into 1 is 0. For negative edge, it's going to be 1, 0. So, 0. For positive edge, for positive edge, it's going to be 1, 0, so the output is 0. For negative edge, it's going to be 1, 0, so 0. For positive edge, it's going to be 0, and here it's going to be 1, so output is 0. For negative edge, it's going to be 1, 1, so the output is 1. 1 into 1 is going to be 1. So, this is going to be the uh, waveform, W3. So the minimum number of flip flops needed to construct a BCD decoder, decade counter. BCD is nothing but 0, 0, 0, 0 to uh, 1, 0, 0, 1. Because 0 to 9, we are going to count 0 to 9. So totally 4 bits here. So we need 4 flip flops. When the translation of a circuit from one state to a next state occurs at a discrete instant of time controlled by a clock. So if it is controlled by a clock, it is said to be a uh, synchronous sequential circuit. Suppose if there is no clock, it's said to be asynchronous sequential machine. Thank you, guys. Have a nice day. Subscribe my channel for automatic updates.